Low maintenance was a concept that frequently appeared in romantic comedies of the late 1990s and early 2000s. Remember the famous line when Harry met Sally? You're high maintenance, but you think you're low maintenance. Since then, being low maintenance was something people, especially women, aspired to be. To be easy, laid back, and cool. However, underneath this facade of coolness and chill, there's something else going on. It could potentially be a complicated minefield of issues. Let's first dissect the concept of being low maintenance. At its core, it describes someone who requires minimal attention, affirmation, or support from their partner. It is hallmarked by independence and self-sufficiency. And while they are admirable traits, they can morph into something more detrimental when taken to the extreme. Most people assume that being low maintenance just means being easygoing, but there's much more to unpack. What does it truly mean to be low maintenance? And where does that desire come from? Why is being low maintenance in a relationship now seen as negative? Low maintenance is marked by extreme independence, which means that you're not allowing your partner to fill your needs because you don't want to appear as a burden. Another typical trait of being low maintenance is downplaying your own abilities and accomplishments. Doing so inadvertently suppresses aspects of your identity. Over time, this can lead to you feeling resentful and dissatisfied as your true self remains unacknowledged and unfulfilled. Let's delve deeper to find out where and why these traits appear. The psychology behind being low maintenance. The roots of being low maintenance can often be traced back to childhood experiences and attachment styles. Children who grow up in environments where their emotional needs are neglected or minimized may learn to suppress their needs as adults. This is a form of survival mechanism known as fawning, where individuals prioritize pleasing others to avoid conflict or to gain approval. Attachment theory suggests that early relationships with caregivers shape our future relationship patterns. Those with insecure attachment styles, such as anxious or avoidant attachment, may become low maintenance to protect themselves from perceived rejection or disappointment. By not expressing their needs, they believe they're less likely to be abandoned or hurt. Childhood trauma and low maintenance behavior. Childhood trauma can significantly influence one's tendency to be low maintenance. Traumatic experiences such as emotional neglect or abuse can teach children that their needs are unimportant or burdensome. As adults, these individuals might continue to minimize their needs to avoid triggering past trauma or to prevent potential emotional pain. This behavior can lead to a cycle where the individual feels disconnected from their own emotions and desires, perpetuating a sense of emptiness and dissatisfaction in their relationships. The pick me and cool girl phenomena. The pick me girl and cool girl archetypes are modern manifestations of these attachment issues. A pick me girl seeks validation by differentiating herself from other women, often downplaying her own needs to appear more appealing to men, thus receiving validation from men. Similarly, the cool girl prides herself on being low maintenance and agreeable, often at the expense of her own happiness and authenticity. Both personas are linked to insecure attachment styles, where the individual's sense of worth is tied to external approval rather than an internal sense of self-worth. They prioritize being liked and accepted over being true to themselves, leading to relationships built on false pretenses and unmet needs. The path to balance. So what's the alternative to being low maintenance? Strive for balance. Recognize that it's healthy and normal to have emotional needs, desires, and boundaries in a relationship. Rather than suppressing these aspects of yourself, embrace them and communicate them openly with your partner. Healthy relationships thrive on mutual respect, understanding, and support. By acknowledging and prioritizing your own needs, you not only foster a stronger sense of self, but also create a foundation for a more authentic and fulfilling connection with your partner. If these negative beliefs and behaviors have impacted your life and relationships, and you need support in changing them, we encourage you to seek therapy and discuss this with a professional. Did you relate to this video? Let us know in the comments. Remember being low maintenance isn't synonymous with being happy or fulfilled. True happiness in a relationship comes from authenticity, communication, and mutual respect. So dare to embrace your emotional needs and watch as your relationship blossoms into something truly beautiful and enriching.
If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Psych2Go for more content. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.